by looking at uh, two of my favorite uh, knots, which is going to be the Siberian hitch and also the trucker's hitch. And one common use for that is constructing a ridge line for your tarp. So let's take a close-up view of how to tie some of these. Starting out with this Siberian hitch, uh, I'm just going to take it and wrap it around the tree. I'm going to take my left hand and facing palms up, and I have the tail end in my right hand. So I'm going to take the tail end, wrap it under my palm, back over the top. Then I'm going to take my left hand, rotate it over the top, and reach in and grab that tail end and just pull up to tighten this down. Then I'm going to slide it toward the tree. So that makes a good one that you could tie when it's uh, cool outside. Even if you have gloves on, it's easy to do and it's easy to untie. You just give this a little tug. And normally I would have more of a tail out here. And if you just for uh, security purposes, if you didn't want this to come untied, uh, you would just stick it through the little loop here. That way if it's given a tug, it's still intact. Okay, let's finish out this ridge line by taking this paracord. And I'm going to take my finger and make a loop. And then I'm going to reach down and grab the tail end, pull it up through. I'm making a slip knot. I'm going to take the other end of the paracord, wrap it around the tree, come up through the loop that I just made. And this forms uh, a block and tackle. So this gives me a, a lot of leverage to pull this really tight. So I'm going to keep pulling until I get the desired tension that I want. And where I have the two loops, I'm just going to make a pinch. I'm going to take the paracord form another loop. I'm going to go under the line and back over. Hope you can see that. Let's try that again. So up and back over on the loop that I just formed. Then I'm going to take that, which I just made a half hitch, and give it a pull back toward the knot there. And that makes a nice half hitch that's easily untied even in cold weather with gloves on. You just simply give it a pull comes right apart and then you can just give the slip knot a pull. Try this clove hitch. What I'm going to do is loop this over and I'm going to take and make another loop the opposite way. So I have one going under and one tail end going over the top and then I'm going to take those two and put them on top of one another. And say for instance in my tarp that I lost the eyelet in that and I wanted to make a you know a quick repair on this or some way that my guideline would hold. I'm going to take like a little stone, put it underneath, and you can see there where I formed up uh, the little stone here. I'm going to take the clove hitch that I made up, put it over the top, and give it a pull. And now I've attached my guideline and it will make do until I can replace or repair this tarp and it, it, it will really hold. Okay, we're going to make a prusik knot and I'm going to start by taking this on my ridge line and going under, back over the top and I'm going to pull the two tail ends through and it's going to make me a girth hitch to start with. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. Then I'm going to take the two tail ends, take them back over the top. And then I'm going to pull them back up through the loop again. And I'm going to take my time and make sure that these are all nice and neat. Then I'm going to pull the loop a little bit more. I'm going to take the two tail ends again, take them over the top. And then I'm going to pull them up through the loop. And sometimes you got to work with it a little bit and you should have this loop, the two ends on the outside of it get this where it's nice and tight and like I said just dress it up a little bit and then once you've got it there and pull it tight it's there and so when you're through it should look like this to where you have all in a nice little coil there and so when you give you know the two tail ends a tug it's it's secure on your line you could take this uh, tail end right here and also tie that in a, a figure eight on the line. Got a nice little figure eight there and I'm going to reach in and I didn't bring a carabiner with me but I had this in my pack. So if you had your carabiner you would just clip it in there and so that pulls evenly if I tug 
that stays in place and it's still easy to slide. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, some of this paracord and I'm going to make a double fisherman's knot, maybe a triple. And this is good in joining two pieces of rope together or, um, you know, to make one single piece if you had two shorter pieces. You could use it, uh, like I showed you before, making a little Prusik uh, knot, rescue knot, joining that together. But anyway, we're going to start out by taking the two ends. I'm going to cross these over. I'm going to take it and start looping it around. And this is just going to be a little loose to start with. And you're just going to keep looping that. And I've got two there two loops so I'm going to take the tail end and put it through those two loops okay I've got that pulled together I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing I'm going to take it and go under that main line, start making a loop over. Then I'm gonna make another loop over. And then I'm gonna take the tail end and feed it through those two loops. And give that a pull. Then you're just gonna pull these together and you're gonna have a nice, strong knot there.